Greetings! In this video, we will cover how to bake static lights using light mass. If you haven't already, make sure to watch the previous lessons in this series so you don't miss anything. So without further ado, let's jump right in. One important aspect of good lighting is what we call global illumination or GI for short. GI simulates light rays bouncing off surfaces and indirectly illuminating a scene, just like in real life. While GI is the norm in popular renderers of the likes of V-Ray, Cycles or Arnold, it is still too expensive to be calculated 60 frames per second in real-time renderers like Unreal. To solve this issue, Unreal comes with Lightmass, a renderer used to compute static and stationary light contribution to a scene before a game is shipped or an uh, animation is rendered. The result is a texture called a light map that is applied on all meshes with proper UVs. Now with that out of the way, let's bake some lights. Assuming you have your lights set to static or stationary, the first thing we need is an actor called Light Mass Importance Volume. Search the name in the Place Actors panel and drop it in your scene. This box will tell Light Mass where to spend calculations, so we have to make sure the box is large enough to encapsulate the scene but not unnecessarily large to waste computation efforts. As a rule of thumb, prioritize area where the player or camera will be most of the time. If scaling the box is a problem, try Shift 4 to go in edit mode and move individual faces just like a BSP brush. To learn more about that, make sure to watch my lesson on BSP for level design. With the volume in place, we are ready for a test bake. To do this, hit the build button on the level toolbar at the top and let light mass do its thing. Now the time needed to render will vary depending on the number of lights, quality mode and level size. And there you go, global illumination. If some objects in your scene look broken though, they might not have proper UV to correctly display light maps, a lesson will be soon released to deal with this kind of problem. That's good and all, but we can achieve better results. Reach the arrow on the build button to reveal a menu and go down to Lighting Quality. Light Mass has four quality levels. Preview for quick and cheap results to production for best quality. Beware as the baking time will go up exponentially as you move up the list. Yet we can still achieve better results. You might notice some shadows lacking resolution. The way to sort this out is to increase the light map resolution for surfaces lacking details. Select the mesh and go down the details panel to find the lighting category. In here, check on overridden light map resolution. This is a texture resolution here, so for the sake of optimization, the value to input should be power of 2. 64, 128, 256 or 512, for example. For a starter, increase the value by 2, bake and repeat until desired result. Don't get carried away though, as higher values are longer to bake and will demand more memory. Also, some weird artifacts might start to show, so keep a reasonable value. For better control over this, switch the view mode to light map density. Blue means poor resolution, green is ideal, and red is really high resolution. The general idea here is to have a nice green for a good balance between quality and performances. And yet, it is still possible to improve. Up in the level toolbar, go to settings and click world settings to reveal a window next to the detail panel. Under the light mass category, you will find settings and options defining how light mass renders. For example, check on ambient occlusion and bake again to give an extra depth to your scene. Playing around these settings can lead you beyond production and quality. But proceed with caution as baking time will greatly increase. On top of that, we could add a bit of post-processing, but that's for another lesson. This wraps it up for this one. In the next lesson, we will add details to our lights, pushing the quality even higher. So until then, you take care and have fun.